Hello and welcome to the Ariely Knits YouTube channel. This is our tutorial. This is a tutorial uh, from our channel. Um, I had a wonderful community member reach out to me and say, hey, like, uh, could I knit a sweater with pencils? And I was like, yes, you could, but you would have to make a couple of modifications to your pencils in order for it to actually be feasible and work. Um, part of the reason is because like just one pencil is just, you know, it's just too short to fit an entire sweater on there, right? So you would turn your knit your knitting needles or your pencils into circular needles or circular pencils. Ha 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 humor. <laughs> okay, anyways, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your two pencils. Um, and you're going to want to actually, instead of just sharpening one end, sharpen both ends of both of your pencils. If they're not quite the same length, that's okay, but you don't want there to be a huge length discrepancy, like my blue pencil's a little bit longer than my orange pencil, but it's not gonna be a super big deal. Then you're gonna want some yarn or um, thick thread. Um, you don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be the same thickness as the pencil or anything like that. Otherwise, your stitches are going to get stuck. Um, <clears throat> but you do want a thread or yarn or string of some sort that is strong, can be attached to your pencils using something like duct tape, and also is not made of wool or something like that that can felt. You're going to want to use like a synthetic fiber or a cotton fiber. This is just acrylic that I'm using and it's fantastic. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have, if you're working from a pattern um, and it says 32 inch circular, you're going to want your string long enough so that when you attach it to your pencils, when you measure from the tip of one of your pencils to the other tip of the other one, that is the length that is specified. So this would need to be 32 inches from here to here um, if I were needing a 32 inch thing. Um, so I actually pre-measured this out. Um, next, once you have that done, you're going to want to get some strips of duct tape. Um, you're going to want it to be duct tape or something of similar like strength because when you're knitting, a lot of your stitches are going to sit on this strand. And so like a sweater quantity worth of stitches and as the fabric grows, a sweater hanging on these stitches, it's going to be fairly heavy for the string. So you want to make sure that it's firmly attached to your pencils. So I'm going to pick an end. I'll do this end. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we're going to attach our yarn to it. So I'm going to flip my duct tape over, make this a little bit easier on myself. And I ha am having the duct tape go past the pencil, the tip of the pencil a little bit. And I will, so that we can kind of taper it off on that end and have it kind of go down onto the string a little bit because we want to make this like little tapered point like so because when the stitches we want the stitches to slide off this easier and also like slide back onto the blue pencil easier too so I'm going to get another thing of duct tape here to kind of smooth out this taper and I'm kind of working it at a diagonal just so that it kind of smooths it out so here we are there we go so see how it kind of like tapers let me bring it up closer it just kind of tapers off onto the string that's what we want and we want to push this duct tape down at the top of it as much as possible because we don't want it to um, jut out a ton up here. So get it as tight to your pencil as you possibly can and then do the same on the other side. Let's 
test it. Okay, so I'm not going to go into details on how to cast on. Um, if you'd like to know how to cast on, I'll put a card in here for another video I have on how to cast on. Um, but I'm going to cast on some stitches and we're going to see how our circular needles work. So I'm going to leave, oops, leave this one over here. And I'm gonna cast on. So when you're doing this, because this duct tape here is gonna jut out a little bit, you're gonna wanna cast on looser than you normally would um, and not snug to the pencil because if you do it snug to the pencil, since this is a little bit thicker than the pencil, it's gonna get stuck. So you wanna cast on a little bit loose, looser papers are working for us. So I'm going to push. So as you knit, your stitches will be pushed further down the needle up until there are, are too many stitches for your needle or your pencil that they then go onto the cord. And then as you continue to cast on, more and more and more will be added until they get pushed back up and onto your other needle. Like so. <gasps> So you're gonna need to be careful because it's a little bit like firm here with our homemade uh, tapers, but look at that, it's working. <laughs> look at that, we did it, we did it. We made circular needles using pencils. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So yeah, um, make this taper as like tapered as you can. Um, down the string on both ends but look at that we made circular needles if you would like more information on how to use circular needles um, even though it's not pencils in the video that I'm about to send you to um, this video um, choose your needles there's a section on circular needles and how you can use it to both knit use them pardon my English, use them to both knit in the round and knit flat, which sweaters are actually knit one of those two ways. You can either knit it in, knit it flat and then sew all the pieces together, or you can knit it in the round. For sweater sleeves, if you're knitting them in the round, you're gonna want double pointed needles. And to make double pointed needles, all you're gonna need to do is the very first step, which was I shaved I sharpened both ends of my pencils. You just need to do that to five pencils and you have a double pointed needle set. So I'm doing like awkward finger guns when I go like, um, <laughs> you just couldn't see it because it was on camera. Uh -oh. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe out there. <laughs> Bye.